play the operation movie. We'll take that. Spartan Davis playing. continued fighting on the moon. Spartan Palmer and a handful of UNSC troops redeployed to the surface of Drathius V to fend off the invaders there. Outmanned, outgunned. Spartan Palmer didn't see it as a problem. How about you? All right, so test, test. All right, so test, test. All right. Hello, my dear man. Welcome to Operation Temperature. No, a B. Well, we're going to do this during this stream. So I've got five more streams left, including this one. Once again, I will just knock out Operation after Operation after Operation. So the lovely B. About an hour long, depending. <sighs> I just gonna have that one on. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Spartans are using hologram decoys and confusing the hell out of those grunts. Never seen anything so funny. That would be kind of funny. Okay, so... That is a salt rifle. Oh. Oh, hey, Lee. I just see you die in the party. Man, yeah, I'm trying to counter them up there. I think it's you guys. Well, I should hope so. It would be really kind of stupid if they didn't. Oh, that's a lot. They said that last one, dude. Forgive if I don't just instantly believe you. Yeah. Much more damage, and that door's coming down. Yeah, I'm trying. Let's see you guys manning the other gun. So glad these things respawn. We, yeah, we we'll guess we spawn. So, what do we do? Yeah, of course, you have to be the last elite. I want you to kill you now, so freaking bad. Oh, ah, that's still good enough. Okay, UNSA technicians had built numerous magnetic reactor stations across Strafius V. The US Western Reactor Field was one of the largest of these stations and was of great interest to the Covenant. Luckily, the trench-like layout of the reactor field provided the Marine stationed where stationed there with terrain advantage. And Covenant infantry platoons had significant difficulty in seizing the station. 
After supporting the Marines at Faraday, Sergeant Palmer Swan Palmer moved to provide support in the Western Reactor Field. Palmer's prime objective was to protect several squads of Wolverines and halt the Banshees providing air support to the Covenant Infantry. I should hope so. Oh, Wolverines. Ooh, we get dual SMGs now. As they were grabbing guns, kept throwing themselves out of position, they kept on coming like water for Busted Dam. I mean, given the way that they breed... SMGs. It's actually kind of large-ish. I am a shadow fire. Looking at that, like hoping it would go up. Oh shit! Great shot. Oh, this is not. Please, warning SMG. Uh, since I was just saying I should have retreated there. I knew I should have when I got down.
sentry go. Mind if I just run back here, grab some ammo. Target. Okay, you guys can have that. Who will help you out? There, see, totally helped out there. Actually, you know what? I probably ought to just say the assault rifle might be a bit better. At least I got 80k, so that's about halfway to gold. I'd say halfway and halfway ish. No, that's all the way to go. This way. Alright, oh, but finally it's up this way. Oh no! Dude, I almost killed you. That totally looked like some place you can hide. That was where you need to hold out. Need a little help here. Uh, decoy, no thanks. Got him in my sights. Okay, that shotgun, that would have been helpful to know. We got gold. I know we got gold because I definitely. Yep, gold. Ha! Take that. How many killing does they even get? Uh, I have no idea. It doesn't actually say. Oh well. Okay, I may have to do more than 
one of these, because this is going relatively quickly. Of the Faraday's base's defenses were stabilized, Spot and Palm began trying to establish the location of Covenant officers leading the invasion. Taking significant losses, Marines of the 21st Scout Platoon had managed to uncover a set of promising coordinates. The coordinate locations were well hidden by JFS 5 unique magnetic structures. Without Palm, the officers might have remained hidden. For days, she found them in 30 minutes. Assault rifle and shotgun. I don't really think there's like much variation. Though these big damn plants like tentacles, I swear it's like the planet was firing us too. Finally bringing in Jackal. Huh. Finally I actually wanted to bring in Jackals. And the need though. Stupid. Really, it's even happening in this game that they gotta repeat their dialogue. Well, I'd say that was a freaking. I'm not sure if that was a silver or not. Yeah. What the gold? I'm gonna quickly Google that. So the gold elites are ranked. Cause I don't think they're zealots. Ah, so the elite light rangers. I think... Okay, I like, also keep saying Bob. What are the ones the gold elites and Halo see? Okay, so yeah, the be zealots. So yeah, the commanders and zealots. So essentially the toughest you find. <laughs> At least in the most part. <laughs> Bit of a shame that they're not using swords though. That would have been fun to use. Okay, so did I neither just destroy a jackal energy shield? I can die to that cunt. I'll be selling this. No. Ow. 
Ow, ow. Bye. You guys should be fine. Just suicide quads. Not like they can do much. I don't know if there's a dodge in this game. Nope. That was definitely not a dodge. Sight. Ow. You'd give the zealot something a bit better to use than Great this. <sighs> there you guys heal up. Not sure if you guys actually take healing or what, but you guys heal. Up. I do hope I can actually use a horn in these missions. Uh, if the question B takes a lot shorter than I thought, probably end up just about a couple hours. Changing the title of the base stream. But if it lasts for about half an hour ish, then. No, not half an hour. An hour ish. Then yeah. I'll probably keep it like that. Okay, nine lofty bridges spanning an enormous gorge called the Epsilon Expanse allowed for access to the southern plateau where the majority of Covenant landing zones are located. The Covenant quickly secured these bridges and held UNSC forces at Bay of Heavy Artillery. Spartan Palmer escorted the 23rd Armored Cavalry to the Epsilon Expanse, but the Scorpion tanks were not to fire the guaranteed heavy artillery fire. Taking a small team of Marines across one of the bridges, Palmer managed to Infiltrate the cavern and camps and destroy several artillery turrets, giving scorpions a chance to advance and launch a counteroffensive. Nearly a third of our battalion was lost in the bridge that day. The enemy artillery was simply too much for us. Okay, so. Come on, guys. Let's go to kill some stuff. Okay. Well, that works. Just bombard the. Friends, I mean, I'm going to blow you up again and stuff. Blow 
fucked up far we can win because I still get points from. Jackal, can you not take out one of them? Oh, okay. I suppose the people not actually attempt to destroy all my grenades. That makes a bit more sense. at me with a freaking grenade on him. Still oldest chick in the book much? Or not really, I'm pretty... Oh, what's his armor ability? Spren! That's actually slightly more useful. Okay, that one was a lot easier. Okay, with the Covenant Seven Forces exposed, Spartan Palmer, the 23rd Armed Cavalry Mission. Cavalry's massive column of scorpions and grizzlies washed across the Red Slate Plateau on a collision course with several Covenant tank battalions. Only the UNSC counteroffensive world would prevent. Bad from being crushed between the northern and southern front. The 23rd had brought 86 vehicles to JVS-5. After the battle at Wed Slate, there were only 8 functioning vehicles left. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rename this stream. Just cause... I get the feeling half an hour stream kind of be a bit boring, so... Change giants. So the Spartans use their late tricks against them. Turn on active cavalry fridge, get invisible, and stab them right between the ribs. Ooh, we get a tank. Yes. Uh, 
this. Eat cannon. All you can do I don't care. This fun to you like me and me. Like look at how fast this thing's gone. And how do we lose so many tanks? There's like one way for that. Come on, dudes. You guys gotta up your tank game. so badly they just left a tank there. Yay! Gold! And so sun complete operation B. That's actually really easy. Even though the battle was going in the Spartans' favor, Drathius V had a surprise in store. Its moon wasn't a moon at all. It was a forerunner creation designed to build and destroy entire planets. Nobody knew about this until the Covenant cult leader found a way to reactivate the old Forerunner tech and start disassembling Drathius V. It was Spartan Davis's job to shut down the device. Oh, yeah, because just casual planet building. You know. Just be like, hey, we can build a planet, because that's a thing that we can do. Alright, Boishin Monolith. A Spartan Palmer led the charge on Drapius V. Spartan Davis continued to face considerable enemy fight. On the moon, it was a stroke of luck that UNSC Eminent Domain was able to outmaneuver Covenant forces in orbit over the moon and offer some support by deploying moons to the Southern, Southern Mirror Flats. The third Hell Jumper platoon was the first line on JPS 5 moon. The drop zone was a mile away from Alpha facility, but the landing scattered them across the razor sharp rock faces. Uh, the man wage called Glacial Parch. Birch. They were quickly surrounded by Covenant infantry and taking heavy losses. Spartan Davis, having held out against the Covenant stream of Ungoy and Sanghili for a full day, quickly set out to clear the landing zone for the second wave of drop pods. Okay, let's do this. 
And then I got this sealed. If I saw the landing, I was stuck on a now ledge surrounded by covenants. Spawn Davis helped me cheat death a second time that day. Yeah, all you guys gonna die. Especially if you guys have a Really? Should have killed you. How come the jackals get me those? Like the jackals are the most Probably the most resistant to needlers you'll come across. I guess just oh, that's different. Ooh. Oh, okay. You got a job to do. That job mostly consists of demos having got be weapons and that killing people. Come on, Marine. Let's go. Ammo, police. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Okay, that failed. Huh. I only know as much as I thought. This is AC. Yep. Ah, no, he's invisible. Grenades not destroy already. Really, dude. I'm calling some shit there. Nice work, dog. No, fuck you. No, let's go. Sneak field activated. Why isn't that other guy with us? 
do I really have to go back to get that other guy because he decided to not come? Yeah, that's a Come on, dude. We gotta go. If you're an ODST, you're supposed to be the best of the best. That is literally the thing that you're meant to do. That's the best spawners. Oh, damn it. Okay, I screwed myself over there. I will admit that. Probably a better idea to keep the hologram. Oh my god, can you fire the pistol any slower? Shooting range, not sure what that is, but yay. Come on, dude. I got what to do. It's not really glamorous work, but still work. God damn. going to come with me this time. Thank you. So just standing there. <laughs> that was funny. It's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> that was so cute. Now you get confused, aren't you? Even though one person is attacking you and the other is just standing there. I know, it can be super confusing. How about you don't? You know, you seem really mean, so I'm not sad. Okay, so you're the last one, huh? Let's do this. I mean, I highly doubt that ODST would really look at a Spider just one elite and be like, yeah, this is impossible. I mean, we almost got close though. Okay, having secured a safe landing zone, uh, Glacial Perch, Davis moved to regroup with a second platoon of Marines whose pods were coming down among dozens of crashed spirits. The spirits were destroyed from orbit by eminent domain just as the ship itself was destroyed. Davis and Marines found Covenant infantry swarming from the wrecked spirits, angry and looking for payback. Okay. What? I got like the two worst weapons. A vector was displaced two clicks west. When you sunk was wrong when the sensors displayed frantic coming activity in our direct landing zone. Most useless weapons. Just useless. Completed objective. Oh, 
almost landed on top of me, dude. Especially since I'm now out of ammo. Incoming. How come only one survived? I mean, they were jackals, but still. Oh shit, I completely almost died there because I didn't even see them. <sighs> no idea what anticipation is meant to be for. Seriously, just okay. This, this is like, did we really just lose two people? Uh, what are the rest of you guys? Like, I'm not getting anything pointing out there. Well done. We're about to have company. Ooh, hey there. Thanks. Come on, dude. We got him. Come on, stay here. You'll be safe. Maybe not so much, because you guys are kind of... Oh, sweet regen field does actually help. That would be so embarrassed if it didn't. Hey, it's my ghost. No. I'm officially not allowing you guys to steal my ghost. No, that's my ghost. Okay, thank you guys. Power of anime and uh, oh. I hope that doesn't mean where you guys got it. Yeah, I'm assuming you where you guys died. Damn it! Why did you guys have to die on me? Objective is complete. 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 Really, I thought it wasn't complete. That's so much better, I believe. And I'm gonna have to go on for like the XP just so I can get. Like the score bonus to help. Alright, south of the under structure, a collection of thousands of spike rock formations known as the basalt maze protrude from the moon's thick ice. Coming to supply lines of running straight through the maze to set up more defenses around the forerunner structure. Spartan Davis connected with UNSC combat technicians who believed they could render the forerunner structure. No, they just needed a chance to get inside the structure. Getting the combat engineers close to the fallen structure will be extremely difficult. Today was created a diversion to provide them with the best chance to assault maze for an ideal location for his plan. 
I mean, personally, I'd probably try and capture it if it's a thing that could create planets. The maze of rocks with a perfect, perfect ambush location like ghosts. We hunted them slowly, gnawing at them all out. But I get the feeling they probably did. Okay, so my game kind of literally just crashed then and dashboarded me. So that was fun. Yeah, like, the game literally just dashboarded me. What the hell, dude? Dashboard me. Seriously, bro. I see him. Heavy armor rolling out of position. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, the benefit is now knowing that I don't need to actually just. Just gotta keep my distance, avoid plasma shots, and move as fast as I can. Yeah, I can kinda see that. Nice if I could use the anti-air part as 
whatever, I guess anti-air means totally anti-air. Just like, please don't tell me I died. <laughs> oh, that would have been so embarrassing. Oh, yeah, gold medal. Okay, Covenant forces established a Mawa defense perimeter around the foreign structure to protect the technicians. You want to see command deployed snipers along. Among the marine reinforcements, they would provide surprising fire from higher ground around the structure. However, the area they were deploying to was swimming with stealth sign Healy. Spawn Davis escorted several sniper teams to their location and cleared the area of, of any destructions. In the process of his support, the sniper squads would not have had a chance to make it to their assignments or safely. What we working with? Focus rifle and nuclear tech. Really like just mixing it up, don't they? Spartans were using hologram decoys and confusing the hell out of the guns. Never seen anything so. Yeah, I already read that. Bah! Not even giving me the sword. I see you, Zillet man. Alright, you think you're stealthy, but you're not. Why can't we just jack that pin? Like, it's a perfectly good phantom that we could just jack. I mean, you guys are supposed to be snipers, can't you un no quick no scope them? I have no idea why it seems like they're using reach weapons. But, I don't know. At least I'm pretty sure the focus rifle was only really in reach. I gotta keep it. Oh, trying to reload. Hang on, where did you park? Not fair, dude. I wanna see where you park. God, for neither that's supposed to track, it's doing a really bad job at it. But like, where is the third guy? Back here? Where are 
are you doing all the way back here? See, that's where one guy is, and the next guy's just up there. What are you doing back here? Dude! You'd think striking snipers would be a bit elite, but nope, apparently let's just stand here. See, this guy knows what's up. You, on the other hand, apparently just want to stand there and let me rush on blindly ahead. Ah, oh, I bad. He just called up. I was just like, no. Please don't tell me you're gonna warp as soon as I get into position. Yeah, I see you, dude. Ah, uh, dude. Oh, yeah. There you go. You guys could have easily done this. You didn't need me. Hell, I could have probably done this on Legendary with a sniper. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deny just running straight into the... I mean, just kind of consider it to see two reasons. Oh. More zealots. Hey, do you mind if I borrow this? Never so bad for that last guy. He's just like, I'm going to do it. Fuck! I have been destroyed. Oh my god, I, f I feel so bad. I didn't even get silver. Spun and no oh, shit. They're bringing out brutes now. Spun Davis and the Mo. Remaining Marines assisted the combat technicians securing the foreign structure while the Covenant reinforcements did everything in the power to stop the technicians. With sporting sniper fire from high ground, Davis and his men were able to buy the technicians just not time to do their job. With their... To do their work. However, even with their job complete, it was too late for Dravius 5. In the sky, they could see the planet had already begun to finally break apart. I mean... Maybe try reversing it? The technology was alien, the time was very limited, the resistance was thick. Uh we managed to do it in only five minutes is a tiny miracle. Be giving me that. You don't even give me that hammer, bro. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, 
I wanna get to kill you now, so freaking bad. God damn it, I just wanna listen to the song now. Apologies for the way I'm pause. Just looking up a song. I know. I wish I could actually find a way to stream music. Oh, well, stream music to people who are playing, but I just I have no idea. Do this. Oh, what's this? Hey, cover me. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh shit, you're almost dead. Oh shit, no. Buggers, Marines, you guys can handle them, all right? Completed objective. I see oh. him. Okay. Oh. Now I can definitely defend. Oh, survive. <laughs> Just not defend. Apparently, I'm not good at defend stuff. Missile's kind of useless. I mean, it's useful in the main game, but it's not really. Yay! We won! Achievement. Switch stuff. Complete Operation C. Are you kidding me that no one has got past Operation C? Although Spartan Davis deactivated the device, Drathius V wasn't quite the safe and secure planet it used to be. Suddenly, Spartan Palmer wasn't just fighting off hordes of Covenant. She was heading an evacuation. With so many UNSC craft destroyed by the initial attack, she needed to find an alternate way to get everyone off-world. Operation D. Captured Chant. I cost Drafius 5. There we go, so we've only got three more left. Across Drafius 5, the effects of the activation of the moon's fall on the structure will be being felt. Numerous slabs of rock were slowly floating away from the rock's planet surface, and both UNSC and Covenant troops were scrambling to get to safety. 
Spartan Palmer needed to get every last survivor of Dreyfus 5 as soon as possible, but as the planet started to disintegrate, panic rippled through the infantry on the field. For every infantry unit on the field. A coordinated retreat would be impossible, fighting her way through hordes of fleeing Covenant in a rapidly disintegrating base. She managed to secure jetpacks to get her to safety point. Jetpacks, huh? As if I could use that jetpack. Uh, if you could get a hold of a plasma grenade, you could stick it to just about anything, including Grunt's forehead. Enemy sighted. Oh, by walk. Nice knowing you. Yeah, nice work, dog. I know, I wanted on that door. Got him in my sights. Oh. Uh, this may help. Mm. Yeah, not so much. Get in my way then. Nice. And, like, I know that the covenant of fanatic and that, but come on, you would kind of think. Oh, the plan is being destroyed. Maybe we should just run. Like, okay, that's kind of just my opinion. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to use the boots out there. Feel this? That's stupid. It's like my phone is just trying. God, just stay in one place. My phone is trying to be an awesome. I just stop and give me the elimination instead. God damn it. Minutes before we had been on stage, now the Covenant soldiers were fleeing, it was still a long way from victory. Oh, gain access to the jetpack armor. That's why I'm fine to get it. I mean, it's not as if you'd think, oh, you probably, I don't know, yeah, nice work, armory dog. codes. Bloody door. At least I'm hoping so. Got him in my sight. Can you guys not please? I am trying. I thought you guys were gonna be fleeing. Okay. 
That was a lot shorter than I thought. Just leave the poor marines behind you. Yeesh, Palmer, you're an asshole. Despite the chaos, some Covenant forces remain rooted in strategic locations within the area around Faraday Base. The few sitting marines at the base staff had set up a defense position. In the western sector, the facility preparing for last stand against the increasing... Yeah, I know, we kill marines all the time, but they're supposed to be Spartans. They're supposed to, like, help the marines. Just literally ditch them. <laughs> um, how was the second setting for last stand against the increasing influx of Covenant? You would... F I mean, come on. Like, let's just leave. Spartan Palmer arrived at the base from the moments before the Marines be overrun. On the base, Palmer managed to secure several elephants. She needed to relieve the besieged Marines and get them out of their predicament. Really, we got a hard light shield. Killing a leech is like peeling an onion. It blasts their shields, then their armor, then their skin, and the bone. Alright, oh, maybe not exactly like peeling an onion. Where are these elephants? It'd be so fun to actually ride an elephant. Yeah, you guys eat needlers. Apparently, needlers are semi effective against jackals. Despite the fact that needlers are not effective at jackals at all. Mate, you almost died. Because I burned up my highlight shield. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to defend you guys. I'm coming! Go, go, go! My ammo. Also, I hope my fan isn't too hearable. Okay, so we're walking over here. We gen feel that's a slightly better. Hey, nice I'm not a dog, I'm a Dio. Why you gotta do me like that? That more. Wait, do we go this way or where do we go? Do we go through here? Through here? I'm assuming so. It seems like the way to go. Is not. Hey, don't you touch that ghost. Right. I also don't think this is a ghost. Oh, shit. So, I'm here. I got a ghost. 
Get it. But now I can use this. are running the wrong way, you know that, right? <laughs> just saying, you guys... Oh, wait, no, there you are. I mean, you're probably not the same guys I just rushed get back there, but... Oh! Elephant! Actually, use the elephant. <laughs> Javis Five was ill prepared for full evacuation. Many ships have been destroyed by the initial Covenant assault. Your Nessie command estimated that at best 40% might reach safety, the rest would die. Spawn Palmer declared those are unacceptable and hatched a plan to abuse the rapidly degrading government while to overrun their landing zones and confiscate their spacecraft. The government forces stationed at the landing zones are completely surprised by the bold attack, already displaying cracks in the morale. Due to earlier losses, the Covenant forces quickly gave up the landing zones. I mean, it's not as if you could be like, hey, this place is being screwed. Can we team up? I uh, fought so hard with those bridges, now we couldn't leave them behind us fast enough. Get a grizzly now. Get the tank on steroids. This thing is like a tank on steroids. Simple. Yo, mate, you want on? There you go, buddy. Troops. Yep, you're f fucking landing troops in when the objective is that you're supposed to be fleeing. Damn it, I knew that would happen. Ugh. 
I spawned them shoe, though I, I saw a boot hit her so hard she should have crumpled like tissue paper. But no shit, we must have shields. Don't rush in. No, buddy. I'll cut you. Again, the landing troops in when they're supposed to be clean. I get that they're not the brightest cookies in the jar, but still. Come on, mate, get on. We want some stuff when you hit those. I think tank could be able to destroy barricades. Again, I mean, your goal here is not to drop in reinforcements. Spirits can probably survive in space since you know, you're surrounded, or at least you're covered. It's covered, but a uh, maybe that's just me. Personally, I'd be trying to get everyone out that I could. I uh, didn't know you had shields. Turn the game volume down. I uh, don't think. I'll have to check the game volume off of this. Why, is it hard to hear me or is it just too loud? Yep. Yo, Drew. Matter grenades. Really? Mind if I have this, please? I can hardly hear you just looking. Check it out. Okay, okay I'm gonna be going back this way. Bye, guys. It's been fun. Where to go or... Yeah, there we go. I didn't get gold. Alright, so. Settings. Uh, sound. Okay, so for grenade, for vulnerability, movement, and fire, melee, such grenade. <sighs> Alright. So there's really no jump button. 
Okay, strategic locations at the Epsilon Expanse base had been odd one and a weird gone was established at each of the bridge exit point to cover the convoy of elephants taking evacuees south. The spinal department knew that taking a slow moving pack of transport vehicles of course a quickly degenerating war zone was not going to be easy while well, early operations at the Exponent Expanse had secured access to the Red Slate Patrol, hordes of Covenant out running, of running the area also trying to get to their ships in the south. These forces quickly diverted their attention to the fleeing elephants. Yes, because, again, just killing us is the prime objective. You guys don't have any self preservation. You ever see Spartan at full sprint? It's unreal. They're here, they're there, they're faster than everything. Fucking stupid pillows falling down behind my bed. Really gotta fix that. Do we actually get a ride to the elephant? I don't want to why the elephant. I know it has guns, you know. That's the whole point of the. Oh. Okay, okay. I'll give it to Grunt because they pretty much breed like literal rabbits. If given the chance. But come on, you'd think that the elites would at least be a bit more, I don't know, less keen on dying. Maybe that's just me. Enemies on the move, 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 move. Not on the move, 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 move. That's worse than just being on the move. Oh, shit. It's done. Damn you! Alright, is it coming through better now? I felt so... I felt weird to see this Covenant ships as their only lifeline. My whole career, they've meant death. Now they meant salvation. Okay, so... Can I grab something else's plasma pistol? Thank you. Come on, guys, you gotta keep up. I miss elephants and the mammoth. The mammoth was fun as fuck. So of course it's going to be fun when I actually get to play with Halo 4. Probably the one game everyone agrees is essentially the worst. Oh, Halo 4 and 5 really. I guess Halo 5 is like a bit better upon than Halo 4. So we'll kind of have to see. Apparently, actually, I yeah, know it's the first. Apparently, Halo 5 uh, reaches the worst. I mean, at least Reach was semi fun more than your enemies. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought you were boot then. I was just like, shit. No, no, I think most people see. Halo 4 is one of the worst. Uh, sprint. Why would I want sprint? 
But apparently in Halo 5, like, one of the missions picks you up again. Just... Three Warden Eternals, which are kind of just super tough. Damn it! Seriously, you bastards. I hate you. Who's literally right at the end? First, I kind of just didn't want to die there, did you? Now you start dying a lot easier. In fact, though, I still have not actually completed Halo 5. Okay, so should be... Yep. I mean, is this even an elephant? Like, an elephant at least has a couple of machine gun parts. This seems to be, like, heavy damage guns. Oh, no, 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 bad. Bad grunts. Not this time, buddies. Maybe so, cuz... Do it! Damn it! Oh, you bastard! I was literally wide at the end. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I just want to head quickly grab this so I don't have to worry about it. Now all you guys really going to get it because no one pissed. Apparently it's so pissed I didn't even see that I was running straight into a power gate. Kill all you guys.
Not today, you bastards. And now we get the frontal assault. So first up. One side. Oh, come on. You were literally just wanting wide in the. Like, he was literally wide in the elephant. Are oh, they getting her convoy? Convoy? There was literally one. Of elephants across the plateau, Spawn and Palmer organized the construction of a series of makeshift defensive structures in order to protect the ships as evacuees loaded. Oh, wait, no. With a mix of outrage and desperation, the Covenant forces fought to claim their means of uh, escape. After succeeding in holding off the Covenant infantry, Palmer managed to get. 23 Covenant spaceships off the ground. She saved hundreds of lives that would otherwise been lost. Again, like, we had needed a victory before, but this one was different. This wasn't just the feat we were looking at, this was the death of every human being in the system. I mean, if the thing is disabled. Okay, so limit evacuate casualties. Really? You guys take one hit and you die. You guys aren't just the toughest, but I thought maybe one hit wouldn't kill you. Can a spirit even hold the amount of people that are being boarded? God damn it. Like, I. Killing all the. Okay, well, let's do that one. Like, I don't think spirits hold as many as you think they do. I wonder if you can actually look at how many they could hold. If hey, the little wiki or anything it says anything. Okay, so. Okay, so it can apparently take 30 passengers. Odd that in the first Halo game, it only really held about 5 or 10. Oh, 5 about each side. Cool. 
Oh, shit. Bye. Guys, mind leaving my peoples alone. Specifically, me as well. Fucking phone keeps falling down. I know I have a case that kind of prevents it from falling, but still. Now, is this is the second spirit? Shotgun and assault rifle. You know what? Screw it. Better than nothing. Can you guys not? Can you actually not? I'm doing my best here. You guys can probably stand. Use some of the spirits. Use the drop troops in to evacuate. Maybe that's just me. Oh, now you guys want to come out this side. Now this gun has a use. Nope. Uh, apparently I suck at aiming for that. Oh. Lovely. You guys have to bring in brutes as well. Achievement! Complete Operation D. Wow. It was bad that we didn't even get that fucking much. Spartan Davis sacrificed himself to save many lives on Gradius 5. Although the Covenant forces were broken, UNSC Command wanted the Covenant leader, Merg Vol, eliminated. Clark Palmer was tasked with returning to the moon to finish the job. I want to save these last two for next time. Since we've just literally done three in the span of like two hours ish. So I hope everyone has enjoyed, and I will catch you all next time. Well, we'll pretty much finish this up. This has been a relatively short game, only about. Shit, maybe. 
three to four hours. But I'll also try just you know, grinding for XP, getting the best stuff, just to get all gold. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed, and I will catch you all later. As always, have a good day. And if you liked it, hey, that's awesome. If you didn't, yeah, that's understandable. But anyway, peace out, and goodbye.